Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at generator. Generator is a function that can pause and resume. If you see, this behavior is completely different from a normal function. Normal functions run to completion when you invoke them. So a function that can pause and resume is basically generator. One of the characteristics of generator is that generator itself decides when to pause rather than by any external interruption. Now you might wonder why we need generator. It turns out generator is one of the easiest way to create iterable. At a high level, iterable is an object that wants to make its values accessible in a particular way. We looked at iterable in more detail in the last video. If you have missed it, use the link in the description below to watch that video. Okay, now we know what is generator and why we might need it. So it's time to see how to create generator with an example. I have VS code open here. So I'm going to create a simple generator function called numbers and it is going to yield few numbers. So to create standalone generator function, you need to use function keyword and after function keyword, you need to put asterisk. So this is the key difference between normal function and the generator function. If you put asterisk after the function keyword, then you are basically saying that this is not a normal function. This is a generator function. And then you put the function name. So I'm going to say numbers in this case. You can also put this asterisk after the function keyword like this, or you can also put it just before the function name like this. Both are valid syntax. It's more of a preference actually. I prefer to keep the asterisk just before the function name like this, but it's up to you. You can also create generator function as part of an object. So let's say you have an object called obj and you want to have generator function in it, then you omit the function keyword and you just put the function name uh, with asterisk prefix. So if you want to create a numbers generator within this object, all I need to do is I need to say asterisk numbers and my function body. So that's it. So this is how you create a generator function within an object. This is how you will also create a generator function in a class. So if I have a class called test and if I want to have a generator function called numbers within this class, I use the same syntax I have used in object like this. So this is basically a generator function within this class called test. So let me remove these two. Let's stick to the first uh, standalone generator function. And within this, I'm going to yield a few numbers. So I'm going to say yield one and yield two and three. So what this function does is it basically going to return three values, one, two, and three, and then it's going to stop. So this function is like an iterable factory. So whenever you call this function, it is going to give you a new instance of iterable. So let's say I'm going to uh, call this um, and I'm going to assign the result of that call um, into this variable called numgen. So this numgen is basically an iterable now. And we know that iterable has a function called next. And whenever you call that, it's going to return next available value. So if I call that, and if I print this, you'll see value one printed in the console as a iterable result. As you can see here, it has printed value one as a iterable result. Um, and the done flag is set to false, which means we have more values in this uh, iterable. So if I call this couple of more times, it's going to return all the values. As you can see here, it prints all one, two, three. If I call this one more time, it's going to say uh, that we don't have any more value. Basically, the value will be undefined and, uh, and the done flag will be set to true. As you can see here, it basically says that we don't have any more values and done flag is set to true. So this is generator. Um, so, so basically you pause in the generator using this yield keyword. So wherever you have this yield keyword, um, it's going to stop. So basically in this case, it is going to return this value one and it is going to pause the execution of this function at this point. When you call the next method from the iterable, uh, it's going to continue from there. So like in this case, it's going to continue from here and uh, it's going to run the statement, which is again another yield. So it will return value two and it will pause here um, and so on until it reaches the end. So this is basically how generator works. 
what you can do is this generator can call another generator so let me remove this let me create another generator function called alphanumeric so i'm going to say it's alpha numeric so this alpha numeric generator is going to yield all the numbers first and then it's going to continue with alphabets so to yield numbers i can make use of my numbers generator so to do that all i need to do is i need to say yield and i'm going to use this asterisk next to the yield keyword and i'm going to say numbers so numbers is a generator function so basically in this line what i'm saying is i'm asking this generator function alphanumeric to get all the values from numbers generator and yield them one by one so that's what i'm saying and then here if i say yield a and b now what this generator will do is when i call the next method from the iterable i get from this generator function it will return values one two three which are coming from uh, numbers generator and it returns those values because of this this line so what this line basically says is that get the value from numbers generator and yield them one by one and then once it has exhausted all the values available in this numbers generator it will continue to this line here it will yield a and then it will continue to this line where it will yield b so if i get the iterable from this and print them all you can see that as you can see here it first prints one two three and then it returns a b and then it stops so this is how you make use of generator within a generator you can also use return keyword within the generator so when you use return keyword it's basically going to stop the generator at that point so let's say if i return from here say return one then what it will do is it will stop here this this generator won't continue after this line so if i run this as you can see here it has completed in the first call itself and after that we are just getting empty values with the done flag set to true you can also throw from a generator function so if i throw from here it will stop the execution at this point and this error will be thrown when the next function is called so if i run this it will stop at the point where we have this exception raise as you can see here it stops here let me remove this because this generator returns iterable iterable has two other methods other than this next which are throw and uh, return we can make use of them to stop the generator or iterable at our will for example let's say this iterable is running from numbers 1 2 3 and then continues on with alphabets a b but for some reason i want to stop this iterable um, after i got the first value which is number 1 so in that case what i can do rather than next i can say return so if i do this it's going to stop the iterable um, after it has yielded the first value and then uh, for the remainder of these calls it's going to return uh, iterable result which indicates done so let me run this as you can see here it has returned the first value but after that it just returns undefined value with the done flag set to true so basically this line actually stopped the iterable we can also use throw here so which is basically to say um, stop the iterable with an exception so if i run this the first value will be printed and then when this line runs it will throw an exception as you can see here it throws an exception after the first yield so at this point it has yielded value one as you can see here but then it stopped with an exception one of the other interesting thing with the generator is that you can also pass value to generator using this next and return functions let me show you what i mean let's say i have a generator function called print and this print function let's say is going to print whatever value i pass as a parameter to next function so let's say so i'm getting the iterable from the printer generator and then i'm going to say console.log print gen dot next and for the first one i'm going to pass value one and then i'm going to call this function one more time and this time i'm going to pass value 10 
So if we run this, for the first one, we won't see any value because when we call the next method for the first time, the function is not paused. We are actually starting it for the very first time. So this value won't be passed to any point in the generator function. But when we call the next method the second time, we are actually resuming from the place where it was paused. So if you see here, we would have paused at this point actually. So we are actually trying to resume from this point. So when we pass value 10 as a parameter to next method, that value will go to this point. So when we send value 10 to this point, if you look at this, this statement, so this is basically an assignment statement. So the value 10 that we pass, uh, like if you imagine if the value 10 goes here, then that value will be assigned to this result. And then we are printing that result here. So it's going to print 10 on the screen. Let me run this. As you can see here, for the first next call, it's not going to print anything on the screen. But for the second call, which is having 10 as an argument, it prints 10 on the screen and then it prints the value from the triple. So this shows that you can actually pass value to this generator using next function. Because generator returns iterable, you can use constructs like for of spread operator and other constructs that supports iterable. So let's say we want to print all the values from numbers iterable. Let me just remove this. And I have numbers iterable here now. So if I want to print all of these values, I can simply use for of. So if I run this, you'll see number one, two, three on my, con um, on my console. As you can see here, it prints one, two, three. This is possible because this generator function returns iterable and we can use iterable with the for of loop. That's it for now. I hope this video is useful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.